questions? Thank you. Good morning. Am I audible? Yeah, online. So, respected uh, Kabil Garu and Karan uh, Pram, uh, uh, the Hindu, and my dear students, as you all know that the anthropology subject is highly scoring subject and it is very simple subject even. And here I will say it is uh, simple. Is it visible? Visible? Yeah, you can sit here otherwise. Yeah. Now I think it is. See here, it is very simple subject because everyone knows about this particular subject. Unfortunately, we all feel that we don't know anything about anthropology. Everyone knows about this subject. Without knowing that, that is the part of anthropology. While studying chapter by chapter, chapter by chapter, then we will understand that yes we know and it is relevant and it is you know the part of the common sense the part of the uh, you know general knowledge general awareness etc etc we feel like that because here we will study about our biology and this biology is not of you know the great biology complicated biology and it is very simple biology especially the 11th biology and the 12th biology that's it and you know all the uh, civil aspirants will say that we need to study ncrt books And NCRT with respect to history, NCRT with respect to geography, NCRT with respect to polity, then why not this biology? In the 12th biology, all the people will say that in 12th biology, there are four chapters in ecosystem and this is more than sufficient. And if you study the other chapters, then your biological aspect of anthropology will be done with them. It is as simple as that. Because here the minimum basic biology is essential to clear the prelims even for the past three years, especially if you see, uh, you know, the question papers, slowly the biology orientation, 12th biology orientation is increasing. You observe the questions. In one year, this was the very simple question in preliminary examination, you know. Digestion means. Now, this is the question. Digestion means everyone knows that what is digestion? The macro substances, you know, we will consume and uh, they will be converted into the micro substances. It is as simple as that. The macro substance is the carbohydrate and the micro substance is the glucose and the macro substance is the protein. And here the micro substance in relation to protein is amino acid. The macro substance is the lipid and here the, you know, fatty acid and glycerol. Okay. These are the macro substances. In the process of digestion, the macro will be converted into micro. That's it. And here in the options, he has given only this. Protein. Proteins are converted into amino acids. So only that is given. Macro, micro, all these things not mentioned in the syllabus, and that is there directly in the 12th, you know, 11th class marriage. 
and here without by hearting you need to understand why you know this is given because that is important why that is important that is what you need to understand in the anthropology we will question everything and here why we need to consume the proteins daily what about the dietary requirement of the proteins suppose say for example if you take the carbohydrates daily we need to take some you know 450 to 500 grams of the carbohydrates this is the average healthy person requirement daily not per meal that means half kg you need to take and if you take half kg in the morning half kg in the afternoon half kg in the evening total 1 and 1/2 kg but your body requirement is only half kg what will happen to that other 1 kg extra that 1 kg extra will also be digested because the digestion converts the carbohydrate you are taking extra into glucose and that glucose the normal level can be maintained but extra glucose you are producing that extra will be converted one glucose another glucose some other glucose 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 and all these glucose molecules will combine to form into glycogen and this glycogen will be stored in the liver and also muscle finish if you take the extra carbohydrate yes your body is having a capacity to convert that extra glucose into glycogen and whenever you don't take fasting for example one full day you will not take anything in the fasting what will happen the extra glycogen you are having which is stored in the muscle and also liver and that will be uh, you know destroyed breakdown of glycogen in the process of glycogenolysis lysis is the breakdown then glucose will be produced and that glucose you can take up and hence if you don't take don't eat anything for one day or two days or three days nothing will happen to you except our feeling because your body is having that capacity glucose will be maintained say for example here in the case of proteins our body is not having that capacity to store like the carbohydrate and hence here it is not possible for the protein suppose say for example today you have taken 1 kg chicken which is a protein source or mutton rich protein source or half a dozen eggs rich protein source again okay so here if you take something extra that extra will go as a waste because our bodies are not having the capacity to store protein and what is the dietary requirement of the protein the dietary requirement of average person is only around 30 to 50 grams per day this is what is the daily requirement of the protein that means if you consume 100 grams of protein what will happen to that protein maybe groundnut maybe some other dal maybe some other thing if you take extra protein that extra protein will not be utilized by body will not be utilized by body okay the extra protein will not be utilized by the body so what will happen it will go as a waste that's it and hence what you should do what you should do is daily if you take today 1 kg and tomorrow if you give the break then that will not helpful for your body like the carbohydrate because your carbohydrate requirement is something different from the protein requirement which is quite different from the fat requirement which is quite different from the mineral and vitamin requirement and water requirement and every nutrient will have its own you know works and its own characters in the body and we need to understand as a human being for our normal healthy life we need to understand what is our biology and what are the different characteristic features of all our systems and what they are doing and what we should do for the healthy living this is what is anthropology in the biological perspective and here why should we take why should we take the proteins regularly and what is going on in your 1.7 chapter 
you know all these biological basis of life is given in the syllabus which is again 6th standard 7th standard 8th standard 9th standard biology why we need to take the proteins regularly what is the fun of you know taking the proteins why we have to take you know our parents continuously will say that my dear you please take some dal and we will try to refuse and especially dal with green leafy vegetables and here whenever any green leafy vegetable come then we will throw the green leafy vegetable out and we will take the required thing what is that purpose what is the fun of taking green leafy vegetables regularly in the dal you should know because here green leafy vegetables are rich in minerals and vitamins and though the requirement is very very less they are in micrograms this is in grams and here the mineral requirement and my vitamin requirement is in micrograms and picograms and nanograms and hence they were popularly called as micronutrients because their requirements are in min minor micro level and these requirements these three requirements are in grams and hence they are the major nutrients so major nutrients minor nutrients and why we have to take that is there in one full chapter if you understand that nothing is there in evolution and here as a part of this dietary requirement we will consume these proteins what are these two proteins one is the vegetable protein another one is animal protein and our body is not having the capacity again to utilize the same proteins as it is our bodies are not having the capacity to utilize as our bodies are not having the capacity to utilize the vegetable protein and also the animal protein in the same form and hence this digestive system came into existence in the process of evolution and we are having the beautiful digestive system from mouth to anus with the different parts and each part is having a specific function because digestion is the most important thing in the stomach all these complex substances will be digest into the simple substances and in the intestinal part and especially in the large intestine all these digestive things will be absorbed into the blood and suppose say for example this is the digestive tract and this is the large intestine and here there will be glucose and here there will be amino acids and here there will be fatty acids all these things they are the digestive products and the digestion process will start in the mouth and will majority of digestion will complete in the stomach and also in the intestine and here these products are present in the large intestine and from the large intestine and these are the blood vessels and all these things will enter into the blood and so that the blood is having two portions the liquid portion another one is cellular portion and in the liquid all these things will flow throughout the body and here it will be supplied to all the cells in the body because these cells are not having the capacity to utilize the proteins so what the cell will do and here suppose say for example this is the cell and the cell is having the nucleus and everyone knows that and here this is having plasma membrane and this is the nuclear membrane and here there is a connection between the plasma membrane and the nuclear membrane in the form of endoplasmic reticulum and here now the blood you know will keep all the amino acids here fatty acids here glucose here and now this plasma membrane should permit all the substances to enter into these things to enter into these things that means here plasma membrane should permit the amino acids glucose and uh, fatty acids along with the minerals and vitamins if the plasma membrane is not permitting that will happen during the time of your last day death and there is one chapter in the growth that is what is growth in the growth and there are number of stages in the last stage what is called as sense and stage death stage at that point of time this plasma membrane will become passive otherwise it is an active membrane it is an active membrane normally this is active membrane when it converts into passive then that will be your last day okay because it will permit the substances left and right there is no question of any regulation and the person will die 
because there is no control as long as the plasma membrane is maintaining this nature yes you will be happy when it become passive then you will die and here this plasma membrane will permit now glucose will be here amino acid will be here then fatty acid will be here and minerals vitamins water all these substances will enter into the cytoplasm and here this amino acid is here and what this amino acid will do glucose we discussed glucose is the you know it will produce atp which is the energy form for atp for what purpose atp for the purpose of for the purpose of energy because the number of activities are there in the cell and here the cell will take up the functions without atp no single function occurs and hence continuously we need to supply glucose to each and every cell in the body and this glucose sending mechanism is very very important and you should not stop this either you should provide daily or your body is having in the liver and also in the muscles glycogen is present that will be broken down into pieces and that should be provided finally whether it is from glycogen or your from your food source it must be essential then what about the role of the amino acids huh and here our body cannot utilize our cells are not having the capacity to utilize the proteins vegetable proteins and you know animal proteins directly and hence you know we need to prepare our own proteins as per our own mechanism and here this protein synthesis will occur from this this is what is included in our syllabus why we need to produce the protein protein synthesis you need to question everything then the answer will be there in some other chapter that is why here as a well educated person you need to you know question and you need to get the answer you need to question and you need to get the answer why 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 and this why is present in different chapters in anthropology and hence you should not separate all the chapters as per the syllabus some of the people will say that yes we need to you know study 1.7 then followed by some other chapter followed by some other chapter no if you study like that you will feel lot of burden try to link it with you know evolution and here this protein synthesis this is given in 1.7 chapter try to link it with you know evolution chapter and here in the process of evolution what happened why protein synthesis is going on in the cell why our cell daily will produce proteins and what type of proteins and here your enzyme is a protein and your hormone is a protein your antigen is a protein your antibody is a protein your structural protein is a protein structural protein for, for example actin and myosin which is present in the muscles and here hemoglobin which is present in the rbc and here myoglobin which is present in the muscle second and also all these are different proteins keratin is a protein present in the hair dentin is a protein present in the teeth these are all the different varieties of proteins and here enzyme is a protein hormone is a protein antigen is a protein antibody is a protein and structural proteins are there so this cell should produce these proteins by utilizing what by utilizing the vegetable proteins and the animal proteins and here the animal proteins and vegetable proteins in the process of digestion will undergo digestion and they will reach the cell and within the cell all the amino acids are present they are the micro substances for the proteins they are the single units for the proteins they are the monomers for the proteins because a protein is a polymer consisting of number of monomers protein is nothing but this is one amino acid another amino acid another amino acid another amino acid like this amino acids are present and here one amino acid another amino acid are connected by the peptide bond peptide bond peptide bond monopeptide dipeptide tripeptide tetrapeptide polypeptide and here this polypeptide is nothing but 
a protein and here here the sequence of amino acids are important and all together on the more than 200 amino acids are present more than 200 amino acids are present all together and here out of these amino acids 20 are very common which are present in most of the proteins 20 amino acids they are like our all alphabets a to z alphabets you know 26 alphabet say for example alphabets if you arrange two alphabets like this he the nature of if you add for alphabet the nature will change and if you add two more alphabets nature will change that means here the addition and deletion of alphabets changing the number of words the nature will automatically you know different now here the amino acids will also arrange in the same way if two amino acids three amino acids in one sequence one type of protein and if one more is added two more are added three more are added other protein will form that is how the different varieties came into existence one is called as enzyme like another one is called as another enzyme not one enzyme there are several varieties of hundreds of enzymes are present what is the difference between one enzyme and the other enzyme it is like what is the difference between one word and the other word with simple 26 alphabets and you are having lakhs of words came into existence only in the and from the 20 different varieties of amino acids thousands and you know lakhs of varieties of and one variety is called as one enzyme other variety is called as another enzyme e1 e2 e3 e4 e100 something like that amylase is an enzyme which will digest carbohydrate lipase is an enzyme which will digest lipid protease is an enzyme which will digest protein okay beta galactose is an enzyme which will digest lactose which is the milk sugar present in the milk which will be converted finally into galactose and glucose different enzymes are having different works different things. but all enzymes are made up of only amino acids not only enzyme hormones here hormones are also proteins their basic framework is protein one amino acid and another amino acid. like the so that means here the hormones say for example in is one hormone is other hormone you know thyroxine is some other hormone but the basic framework is the sequence of amino acids then antigen antigens are also sequence of amino acids they are otherwise polypeptides antibody is also like that suppose say for example if you take the antigen and antibody into consideration if this is what is rbc and on this rbc if you take you know a antigen is present on the cell coat of rbc then you belong to a blood group and here on the rbc suppose say for example if b antigen is present then you will belong to b blood group this is on if both are present then you will belong to a and b if nothing is present then you belong to o blood group so your blood groups are nothing but your presence or absence of antigens okay so what is this antigen again same story that means antigen is nothing but sequence of amino acids then antibody antibody is also sequence of amino acids 
and here the setup is something different that's it antibody for example if you got corona virus then against the corona virus antigen then our body will try to produce some antibody what is that the basic compound is amino acid and here our rbc is having hemoglobin what is hemoglobin again sequence of amino acids wherever whatever you touch that is nothing but amino acids now the question is why amino acids are present in enzymes hormones antigens antibodies structural proteins and why they are dictating what they are doing what about this protein is doing what is the function of this protein so there is a protein and that protein is in the form of enzyme or hormone or antigen or antibody or structural protein and thereby not one variety several varieties not one variety several varieties not one variety several varieties and each one is responsible for exhibition of a character each one is responsible for exhibition of a character what is this character suppose say for example if you consume milk milk is having lactose and you might have seen that some of the people immediately after their consumption then they will vomit out okay why they will vomit out they are unable to digest what they are unable to digest milk is having milk sugar milk sugar is nothing but lactose and here this lactose should be converted into galactose and glucose in the presence of one enzyme called as beta galactose days okay or otherwise in some of the you know organisms we are having a lactic dehydrogenase ldh okay and this lactose can be used by you know bacteria or prokaryotes and here can be used by any other animal or human being and in the prokaryotes this is the enzyme and in the human being this is the enzyme if this is absent then you cannot digest and hence you will vomit out some of the people they will consume 2 liters 3 liters without any problem they will not vomit out and they happily digest they are having sufficient quantities of lactose dehydrogenase that means you may be called as a lactose tolerant you may be called as a lactose intolerant lactose tolerant is one character lactose intolerant is another character so finally the presence or absence of one enzyme is giving a character if the enzyme is present then you will show one character if enzyme is absent you will show other character okay so finally the proteins are responsible for the exhibition of the character now we are discussing that so here the cell is having amino acids and here the sequence is very very important so it like the when it may be he or it may be he ar or it may be the like the sequence is important sequence of and sequence of amino acids who will dictate terms to this sequence who will decide this sequence and why they are decided and here we all the dna which is present here in the nucleus will decide this particular sequence why dna is decided that is the next question and this is the deciding this sequence sequence is deciding this sequence. this is what is called as central dogma of the genetics which is given in 9.2 chapter and we are discussing back the 1.7 chapter but finally i end up in 9.2 chapter this is what is the mendelian genetics that means there is a dna and dna will produce a protein and here responsible of the you know francis crick has given as a central dogma of genetics in the year 1953 okay central dogma of genetics what is the central theme of the genetics this is what the central theme of genetics now you question further and why these proteins are having that particular why not lipid why not vitamin 
why not mineral why only proteins are very very important which are deciding the character and why not the carbohydrates if you question like that then the answer will come answer is there in other chapter point one and here what 1.4 is giving and before darwin number of people they commented on what happened on the set and darwin has given something and post darwin number of people mentioned about the different things and you need to connect to that so what happened on the earth why only protein other substances because that association you know developed early on this particular right the same going on even now say for example if you see around 4.5 billion years ago and here from the sun a small portion is detached and started you know revolving and rotating around the sun this is what is sun and this is what is earth and rotating around the sun and here this is what is earth this happened around 4.5 billion years ago according to the current knowledge our current knowledge may be changed with any evidence in future but according to the current knowledge this is what happened at that point of time there was no plant there was no animal there was no human being nothing so what is there so it is a portion of the sun and hence it is the molten material that's it which is you know detached and started revolving and rotating and there are only two actions of the earth now one is the rotating function another one is revolving function because of the revolving and rotation now slowly the outermost you know molten material became solidified and it became the earth crust the the cooking process of the rice for example cooking process of it and immediately after cooking then you can keep like this on the top of the rice because immediately after cooking maybe after 5 minutes or 10 minutes the outer layer will be slowly 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 it become warm and cool later but after 10 minutes so further warm then you can keep happily your but finger like this and you will not you know dare enough to keep the finger again because it is very hot you can keep your palm but not your finger because this finger will go deep in the deep the heat will be maintained and the earth is also in the same way and here it is the it is detached from the sun as a hot molten material and here because of the rotation revolution only the topmost layer you know became solidified and became the earth thickness of the earth crust you might have studied in 6th class 7th class geography and you know the earth crust the thickness of the earth crust varies from one place to the other place it may be 1 km in one areas and 1/2 km in other areas and 200 meters 300 meters in some other areas it varies from area to area and here on this particular earth crust and nothing was there but slowly slowly changes happened and here as a result of this you know effect of the sun on the earth because of this radiation on the earth radiation on the earth slowly some of the changes occur high temperature very high temperature as the temperature is very very high what happened under these circumstances some of the substances like amino acids like you know nitrogenous bases like you know uh, the sugars like the phosphates these are formed apart from that the co2 apart from that methane okay then these are the things which are formed how do you know because same thing simulation experiments were conducted by ure and miller and they have created artificially these conditions 
density in the absence of you know reducing atmosphere was created and they produced that amino degrees and that was the original temperature and under those circumstances these substances formed and hence these substances are formed and they start and here in the absence of any chemicals ruled this world is what is called as chemical and here slowly the inorganic chemicals then organic chemicals then organic compounds and the world is full of these things and this entire era of chemical world is what is called as azoic era this is what happened that means there is no life a means absence zo means dual life no life in this particular only chemicals so what chemicals initially in then later on organic and slowly on the earth what happened one organic chemical started interacting with another organic chemical how this interaction is possible because of the radiations that are coming from the sun because of heat and because of light these are the two important physical factors which influence this meeting of these chemical substances and how these interacted that is our subject matter that is our subject matter Subject matter again. Okay, so here, say for example, nitrogenous bases are there, and amino acids are there. The nitrogenous bases, suppose this is the sugar, pentose sugar, so sugar having five carbon atoms, and this sugar will have. This is fifth carbon. This this pentose sugar on one hand attached to the phosphate. And on the other hand, to the first carbon, this entire structure consists of three compounds. So nit nitrogenous base is one chemical. Then pentose sugar is a other chemical. the combination of all these three is called as nucleotide this is what happened on the earth that means here the nitrogenous bases originally formed in the azoic era then they started combining with the sugars and sugar is with the then these three compounds are called as nucleotide not only nucleotide and this is other nucleotide nitrogenous base here and phosphate here another nucleotide here this is what is phosphate here then nitrogenous base here one nucleotide another nucleotide some other nucleotide and in a polynucleotide chain and this polynucleotide chain is what is called as rna polynucleotide chain is what is called as rna and what about this polynucleotide chain some several nucleotides combined and form into a chain and is called as a polynucleotide chain here this is a ribose sugar and this is having acidic nature that is why this is what is called as ribose nucleic acid ribo nucleic acid in simple words rna so i draw like this this is rna this is r and here in rna what is present in rna what is present here right nucleotide 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 nucleotides are sequentially arranged now after formation of this nucleotide now you see for example in you know anthropology class the people with different backgrounds will come and sit in the classroom first day they may not you know 
maintain close relationship. Second, third, and after thirty days, what will happen? Slowly, the relationship will develop. The relationship will develop, and in this relationship, some three, four, five people will form into your group. And within that particular group, one person will try the scenario. Okay, who will go to breakfast? Whether you are having hungry or not, along with all the three people, you need to go. And even to the bathroom also, all the people they will not separate. Why? This is the bondage that they developed over a period of time. This is the relationship developed over a period of time. So here in this process, the nucleotides will also do the the nitrogenous base and unit. Out of this, this nitrogenous base started taking upper hand. Nit ruling. Nitrogenous base started taking turns, and these two they became substances. Suppose if I want to go to Balakrishna movie, and I will influence the other two, three my friends. Are my dear, you we please we go Balakrishna movie, Balakrishna movie, Balakrishna movie. Other two people will also come with me because that is my influence. Nitrogenous base is also like that. nitrogenous base started influencing. Yes. I will come to that. I will come to that. And here, biology is nothing but the relationship. That is what I am saying. And if you understand biology, nothing is there in other aspects. That is all about GS, your history and polity, and the rest of the society. Okay, your first paper GS and second paper GS, parts of these two things, you know, will have the other paper other than this because this is the that is you know i am explaining i am trying my level best to the links chapters okay see here these two things you know nitrogenous base started taking upper hand and it will decide and not one nitrogenous base it will also discuss with this one this one so three nitrogenous base started determining one nearby amino acid. Amino acids are in the vicinity. And will decide this amino acid. And other three will decide another amino acid. And they will form a bond like this. So this is nitrogenous base as amino um, Another three, another amino acid, another three, another amino acid, another amino acid, another amino acid into this. And there is a bond, and this bond is but so now what happened? This is the nitrogenous base sequence that is what is RNA. This is the amino acid sequence that is what is protein. Now on the earth, virus evolved. This is available. Virus evolved. So, what is virus? This virus, RNA virus. And here, this RNA virus is having a complete capacity to change. Why we are worrying about the COVID? So far, 40 different strains of COVID came in existence, but we are having only four waves. 40 times the COVID virus changes. Why 40 times COVID virus changes? Because RNA is the most unstable one and it can change continuously and hence so many varieties of viral particles. This is how the virus. And from this virus, number of changes occurred. So RNA virus with single strand, single nucleotide, and this is RNA virus. This is RNA. This is one more RNA. Now, these two are another RNA. And here, this is one strand, and this is another strand. It is not so simple. And here, one RNA combined with If you need to fit into the other individual, to change a lot. 
and here in the sugar molecule some of the changes occurred one oxygen is deleted from the sugar that is why the pentose sugar became deletion of you know with the deletion of oxygen that became deoxy ribose this is one change one change other opposite angle opposite end so anti parallelly they combined this is another modification which is essential and here one nucleotide also replaced by another nucleotide uracil nucleotide replaced by thymine nucleotide this is different changes and slowly dna evolved and rna virus evolved into dna virus so here on the earth what happened here rna world the 12th class test book rna world will be given what is this rna world at one point of time no plant no animal nothing only rna is ruled the world not for one year but for millions of years and after rna world dna rna virus dna virus then dna this is dna and this dna started combining with some of the protein molecules and here this dna along with this protein molecules forms into a chromosome and by this time bacteria evolved and from the bacteria the protozoans evolved from the protozoans so seven and this journey is nothing but the invertebrate journey from vertebrates vertebrates evolved and from one category amphibian other category reptile another category aves another category mammals one more category and within the mammals several varieties primates is one variety and within the primates there are number of one is the prosimian another one is monkey another one is ape then human being and we will discuss all these things in the evolution chapter and if you see the you know 1.5 that is what is the primates and we concentrate and how these things happened we will limit ourselves only to the 12th class biology and the evolution and some of the you know evidences of evolution okay human evolution is also given in 12th class but the extra material you need to take to write the short note question okay and this particular human being you know evolved around 2 million years ago and here in the form of homo habilis and this homo habilis for the first time you know started this culture homo habilis individual was our ancestor around 2 million years ago then he started you know manufacturing technique for the first time in the history of the human being and he manufactured tools for the first time the manufacturing activity was not there till that time so from the 4.5 you know billion years ago onwards number of initially inorganic chemicals then organic chemicals then rna then dna then chromosomes then bacteria like this all these different things evolved complexity increased especially around 2 million years ago the beautiful came into existence and that beautiful body started working started manufacturing and he started culture for the first time what culture started that is what the subject matter in our 1.8 chapter cultural evolution and this particular homo habilis individual started say for example this habilis individual around 2 million years ago started taking the stone star around okay and started striking one with the other stone and when you strike with one stone with the other stone what will happen if then a small chip will be and the chip was thrown away and here from the detached site the site will have some sharp edge and in the purposes say for example this stone this is what is called as a pebble stone and from this pebble stone and if you detach the small chip and 
a sharp edge will be created and that sharp edge is you know we can do in and for several thousands of this was the only technology available for the and who made this technology homo habilis and here this age is what is called as a paleolithic age and here in the paleolithic age for the first time in the history of the human being the culture was initiated by this homo habilis in terms of this this is the core of the stone that is used when the core of these two are called as core bone. because the chip though it is sharp this individual's brain capacity is not sufficient that particular chip that chip which is detached is what is called as flake and here the next generation individual who is an evolved form you know who is nothing but the homo erectus individual and homo erectus is the next biological form from the homo habilis and this individual this individual's brain capacity is around 700 cc and this individual cc and with 1000 cc it is in europe this person for the placing the removed flake as tool along with this core so core plus flake was utilized by this erectus so with this the majority paleolithic and the next human form is what is called as a neanderthal and this neanderthal because this fossil was excavated from you know a lake in neander valley in germany and hence this is what is called as a neanderthal man and this neanderthal man in start all the places flakes in all the places flakes this term flakes this person only core tools so this person only core tool only core tool plus flake the only flake because this flake is the sharpest one and person's brain capacity is 1400 cc 1450 cc see the brain capacity then the next man is the modern man and this modern shape this flake reshape retouched tools came into existence they were blades and borings blades and borings blades and borings yeah. four tools then flake tools then blades and borings this modern man over a period of time tool to just one six one to six centimeters Particularly called as microliths, microliths. Okay, and here this particular phase, microlithic phase, then over a period of time, this modern man again started producing polishing. This addition, polishing tool technology, and here nowhere in this area, and if you go. and here the tools will be there and these tools will be rubbed against the stones the tool will increase that is what is a polishing technology that was added by this particular man. and for our understanding the anthropologists and archaeologists they have given different names for all these different names for all these say for example this is what is called as a paleolithic age and this paleolithic is the longest age this was commenced around 2 million years ago and continued till 10000 10000 years bc this is the longest phase for our convenience we can divide this into the lower paleolithic culture 
the lower paleolithic culture then we can divide this into middle paleolithic culture we can divide this the lower paleolithic culture is mastered by this homo habilis initial and at the early part of the lower paleolithic is mastered by this homo habilis later part of the lower paleolithic is mastered by this homo erectus then this middle paleolithic is mastered by this neanderthal and here upper paleolithic is upper paleolithic is mastered by this this is what is the three paleolithic cultures lower middle and upper paleolithic so what about the who is the man responsible for the early part of the lower paleolithic culture early part of the lower paleolithic culture homo habilis later part of the lower paleolithic culture homo erectus middle paleolithic culture neanderthal so suppose if the question is on so you need to establish the link you see the syllabus in 1.8 and also 1.2 of 1.2 and 1.3 of paper 2 then you need to club the chapters like this and here the question may be on suppose say for example neanderthal culture may be a question what is neanderthal culture if you remember this table neanderthal culture is nothing but paleolithic culture neanderthal culture is nothing but what culture or core tool culture flake flake tool culture may be a short note question write about neanderthal culture you need to write core tool culture may be a, you need to map culture of homo habilis and also culture of homo erectus is it clear are able to follow then here paleolithic culture what is who is the owner of what about blade and burin culture so blade and burin culture may be a short note question flake culture may be a short note question suppose say for example one more dimension i will give these core tools were extracted from the old white god of And hence, tradition is what is called as old oven tool tradition. Old oven tool tradition. Now the question may be on old oven tradition. That is nothing but this. And we know the agricultural farms who are responsible. And what about the tool technology? You know. And what are the... we will discuss in the classroom? Nomadic people, all those things. What the? What about the? what about the economy and what about their religion and what about what about their family what about their kinship these are the headings we will close the business you need to link what about the biological form and here this entire in 1.6 this entire thing is given in you know 1.8 of paper 1 but we need and if you combine you know the biology culture and society and it will be very easy for you to understand and to write the questions as per the demand of the question this is what i want to tell okay and how marriage as an institution initiated what is the you know origin of marriage why marriage why family these are the questions and here this homo habilis unable to erect like this that is called as erectus man this man is called as erectus man why is called as erectus man now the shape point of distance from his time this time is 1 million years ago in years ago and this person homo habilis individual and here this posture is this posture homo habilis posture is this posture So that means you used to walk like this. This is the posture of Homo habilis. And prior to Homo habilis, there is one more individual called Australopithecus, another biological form. This another biological form, actually, around six million, unable to walk on two legs. Unable to walk on two legs. Why? He was not, you know. Um, 
and prior to his journey if you go prior to this so go ashtapitikas and prior to that there was rama pitikas there was shiva pitikas rama pitikas and shiva pitikas given in your second paper ashtapitikas given in 1.6 is it clear you need to club all these things and put it in the form of a story if you open the book there is rama pitikas name and there is shiva pitikas name there is ashtapitikas name you open the first book and read the 12th class biology last chapter is this one in the evolution okay and here this rama pitikas so what happened how and here why marriage came into existence why family came into existence why kinship came into existence answer is here because these are the cultural characteristic features this is what is culture marriage family is a culture kinship is a culture economy is a culture polity is a culture religion is a culture these are all our chapters 2.32 eighth chapter different chapters and 2.1 and 2.2 one is on society another one is on culture because initially there was a debate between society and culture and some of the people supported society concept and some of the people supported culture concept and later on after the debate they concluded and both are com- concluded in the form of society and culture socio cultural anthropology came into existence and why marriage how marriage biology is responsible without biology suppose say for example if you take up this homo habilis the whole balanced individual and here what about economic activity the economic activity is nothing but hunting activity economic activity is nothing but the hunting activity these are the two important if any are you know facing hunting that society is what is called forest food gathering and hunting society okay and here when the food gathering is there automatically because of the biology and sex introduced may be around during the time of invertebrates and initially the organisms are having both male and female sex organs in one particular animal they were popularly right for example earthworm will have and slowly in the process of evolution two organs were separated into one animal other reproductive organs into other animal there is no question of any culture there is no question of father mother brother no relationship okay there is no question of any relationship only two things one is the male another one is female and male and female because of the production of the hormones because of the production of some of the enzymes you know there will be an attraction between male and female as a result of attraction the homo habilis individual the homo habilis individual is also started moving towards the male towards the female and female towards the male and hence as a result of this attraction mating will occur when mating will occur sometimes there will be a pregnancy when the pregnancy occurs then the problem was initiated because what about the posture of the homo habilis individual the homo habilis individual posture is this posture in this posture the male will not have any problem but the female when the pregnancy is proceeding from the third month fourth month fifth month there is a problem what about their economic activity one is the food gathering activity another one is the hunting activity otherwise the foraging activity and here who has to hunt the animals the male has to hunt the animals and the female has to you know gather the different food stuffs how to gather the what is why is gathering word was given because one tree is providing one fruit or one seed and here the female has to climb the tree and get the fruit or seed but when she is pregnancy already the body is not in the erect form how will she you know how will she takes the food 
gather the food there is no relation with other individual all the individuals without any class they are moving around the forest area and here in search of the resources there is no question of marriage initially there is no question of any relationship male and female because of the sexual attraction they will meet and they will mate and they will forget no question of any bondage no question of any further responsibility so if that is the case when she become pregnant who has to take care of her food requirement that was the need and hence automatically when she want to climb the tree she cannot climb she need to take the help of the other male member that is how some sort of permanent relationship came into existence between the male and female somehow she managed in the pregnancy she got the food stuff delivery occurs after delivery what is the next course of action in the case of delivery the individual will be born what the newly born individual will do the newly born individual accept crying nothing and he is not independent individual he or she suppose if you take the quadrupedal animal walking on four legs if the quadrupedal animal deliver immediately the male calf or female calf what the calf will do calf can walk on its own calf can run on its own calf can take the independent decisions because it is the matured animal which is produced in the case of quadrupedal animals in the case of this bipedality this bipedal locomotion and here the immature individual will be produced in the case of human being except crying he cannot or she cannot do anything so an extra burden came into existence for the female and here the male member who is responsible for that birth don't know because there is no question of any rule initially any one can mate with any other opposite sex individual okay and without any rules that means there was no marriage during the time of homo habilis when there was no marriage slowly marital rules came into existence because when there is no rule who has to take care of who is the responsible person when she is in problem when she unable to get the proper you know nutrients then somebody should take care of who is that person who is the caretaker and that is how in a society slowly she started selecting one of the male in the nearby vicinity who may not be responsible for her pregnancy who may not be responsible for her you know childbirth some one will be selected and they started moving together as a group that is how family came into existence that means because of the necessity this marriage and family came into existence what is the necessity what are the functions and functions are three functions sexual function reproductive function education function economic function economic function they invited that means one male male should do some work and female should do some work and both the individuals can lead the life and education function the next generation individual will born why there is a sexual relation because of the sexual relation there is a reproductive relation because of the sexual function there will be a reproductive function and here the sexual function will result in the reproductive function and in the reproduction the next generation individual will be produced and it is the responsibility of the parents to give all the details which are there in the surroundings that is what is knowledge and here as a male individual as a female individual from their birth onwards they might have experienced several things and that is what is the knowledge about the surroundings and the entire knowledge about the surroundings about the people how to behave with people how to behave with animals how to behave with the plants because if you take the some of the plants and you will die immediately and you know all those things and as elderly persons it is your responsibility to share that information to the next generations that is what is enculturation function otherwise socialization function otherwise in simple words education function and here the family is having all these functions sexual function is there reproductive function is there education function is there and here if the family forgot all the functions because of the busy schedule and here family unable to take care of then the education function and enculturation function will get you know defeated here and they cannot take that is the problem that is why in your ethics syllabus role of family role of education institution and role of society in inculcating moral values and ethical values is mentioned in your syllabus because the family is having all these responsibilities and here because of the necessity that is 
the result of biology because of the biological necessity the culture came into existence why marriage because of the biology if there is no biology there is no question of marriage if there is no marriage there is no question of any family if there is no family there is no question of any kinship no relations no relationship is it clear so here the biology and the culture are interlinked and we need to study all these things completely and the most important aspect in anthropology is one is this biological concept another one is this social concept and cultural concept some of the people they gave the different theories here and some of the people they explained the different theories here and this is what is called as thought anthropological thought and part of anthropological thought is given in sixth unit and part of anthropological thought is given in other units in biology 1.4 and other units and this thought is very very important again some of the people even teachers also will say that thought is something different from the rest of the biology rest of this culture and society but here i will deal with the simultaneous mode while discussing marriage family kinship i will discuss the thought even while discussing the thought i will discuss marriage family kinship and religion and economy polity and how marriage came into existence some of the thinkers mentioned about this particular story this might have happened because no one knows what happened and all these theories combinedly put together under the thought so by the time of completion of the thought of you know society and culture you need to finish entire socio cultural anthropology and by the time of completion of this biological thought you need to finish entire biology what mendel has given what morgan has given what darwin has given and lamarck has given this is what is thought in the case of biology biological thought and socio cultural thought and if you apply these principles on the indian society that is what is called as indian anthropology and indian anthropology can be broadly divided into one is the prehistory portion and that is nothing but the extension of 1.6 and 1.8 of the first paper and the next one is caste india another one is tribal india and here in caste india and tribal india a number of anthropologists again they gave their orientations and a paper to thought indian thought that is mentioned in your fourth chapter and the concepts related to thought is given in 5.3 and also third chapter we need to combine again and we should not differentiate the fourth chapter unit and 5.3 and you know 3.3 something like this is it clear any questions please any queries any questions if you limit yourselves to only one particular chapter then you will lose marks you will lose marks and always you should hold the syllabus when the teacher is moving across the chapters you need to move along with the teacher then you will get the subject if you start limiting only to you know one particular area you know you may lose the marks you see the syllabus mutation say for example mentioned in 1.7 again mentioned in 9.3 then the related concepts are mentioned in 12th chapter what is the link between all these you need to combine these you need to combine these and hence you know the session will go in the combined mode only and always i will give one hint in the classroom so when i am moving from one chapter to the other chapter i will ask you to go through the syllabus 1.7 i am in 1.7 but i will move to 11th chapter because that link is there and you need to see the syllabus what is there in the 11th chapter and what is that link and what i am teaching 
so if you don't compartmentalize the different chapters and and within the shortest possible time then you can get the whole syllabus in the most comprehensive way that is the need of the other okay if you start compartmentalizing one chapter and other chapter it it takes long time you know to master the subject and here always we should keep in mind that we are writing only the short note question not the essay question and for all the topics which are mentioned in the syllabus we should get a short note question finally endogamy is mentioned in the syllabus hypergamy is mentioned in the syllabus what should i write if the same question is given we should get that is it clear and in each and every area you need to remember some of the facts without remembering the facts it is not possible to master the areas so for that particular purpose every day what i will do in the class every day i will do i will give some fill in the blank type of questions if you don't remember what morgan has given if there is any short note on morgan then you cannot write that short note question what is the central theme of that hugo debris has given mutation theory if the question is on mutation without mentioning hugo debris then you cannot write the qualitative answer so my intention is you should remember that fact mutation theory was given by dash i will give the dash then you need to write hugo debris chromosomal theory of inheritance given by sutton and bowery you need to remember these two names mendel has proposed four important you know principles dash 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 law of unit character law of dominance and recessiveness law of segregation law of independent assortment and all these four things must be on your fingertips if you start rethinking in the examination hall you will not get and hence daily there will be you know fill in the blank type of examination and if you combine all the fill in the blanks then your short note will come and here nucleotide consists of dash 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 nitrogenous base sugar molecule pentose ribose sugar then phosphate you need to remember these three facts without remembering these three facts how you will give the you know answer that is why i am also doing this fill in the blank type of questions is it clear in this mode i will go so weekly 8 to 10 hours class will be there for four days then the syllabus will be completed in three three and a half months if you don't have any questions then we'll close this that's it these are the aspects that's it we need to understand the basic biology we need to understand the basic society what is society and what is culture and what is the link between these then application to india finished it it is as simple as my dear here i will not suggest any reference books i will give you know two case studies here uh two students are from iit one person from iit delhi another person from iit madras one is uh, mr abhishek okay the other person name i will not reveal and here the other person is my student in fact he is from iit delhi they started taking coaching from anthropology for the past uh, you know one year before this abhishek enters into this field and this abhishek who completed his uh, mtech from iit madras then uh, not joined anywhere and took the political science as optional subject and wrote three mains examinations and in the third mains then uh, you know he got ips and allotted to maharashtra cadre and in his uh, 
fourth attempt he came to me and told that sir i am unable to cross 200 in political science but i am very good at political science and here i took coaching from delhi then chennai and also hyderabad and all they went to all the famous teachers but unable to cross this 200 if you give me guarantee of 230 240 marks because in gs i am getting on par with top 20 people in the country every year the same scenario is going on but in an, in political science unable to cross then i told that if you listen to me then i will give you a guarantee of 240 250 then he decided after a week and uh, applied for the prelims again but there is no time to prepare for the mains and then prepare for the prelims exclusively then after prelims immediately next day after prelims because you know he got almost 140 145 in the prelims examination every year he will get the same marks then he started preparing for the anthropology and he never attended one single class in the physical some hardly some maybe a dozen classes not more than that and he started taking sitting near my room in hyderabad in my chambers then started watching all the videos continuously and in 25 to 30 days he finished the entire syllabus from morning to evening no other business by the time results came and uh, you know oh, pulped the prelims then started doing vigorously then started writing answers finish only you know that the three months time within three months time uh, he completed whatever i have given then there is no time for the uh, you know test books even and whatever the class notes that is available and uh, some of the materials i have given in only in few areas some of the mind maps i have given finished it job then wrote mains then attended for interview and got ias now he is in uh, you know this agmat cadre then his roommate is the other person from iit delhi and he is well versed with the subject and here abhishek he himself told that sir this person is having so many test books and some of the test books you are not having and here if i told you know some two examples under uh, one you know heading polygyny for example polygyny is an important short note question if you write what is polygyny what are the types of polygyny and what are the examples one outside india and one inside india example that is more than sufficient if necessary if you want to give two more examples under short note question one north indian example one south indian example finish that is the question because we know that and he can give 25 examples that is the capacity of this iit delhi guy why he read so much finally this abhishek got 301 in anthropology in 3 months time and this iit delhi wala got the same 245 he is having excellent subject and he can give you know in one minute the number of test books okay here you are taking the anthropology as an optional subject as it is simple as it can be completed within time and as you know you can write a beautiful short note question as per the demand of the question questions are direct and if the teacher is giving all the dimensions and what is the fun of the taking the different varieties of test books again i will not suggest any test book including my own test books of telugu academy because whatever you need i will provide that's it yes i will not suggest any single test book please because as a teacher i will read all those test books and i will give the you know sufficient answer if you are able to write the short note question on whatever the point mentioned in the syllabus what is the fun of reading test book teacher is a test book and you should read the teacher first and here the teacher role is you know any syllabus can be read by any student what the teacher will do teacher will save your time that's it i am saving your time by giving all the details i will try to give the you know mind maps for each and every question and i will explain what are the different dimensions that's it why you have to take the test book again because already you are overburdened with you know lot of uh, gs essay 
and other areas. And you are not having that luxurious time to go through all the textbooks. It is not a UG course or PG course to read the textbooks. No. You came here, you have to, you know, in you know, YouTube, uh, Dr. Abhishek and Dr. Lakshmaya, you put and he will tell all these things. Abhishek. And he told very clearly that only, you know, I went to Lakshmaya sir for three months and I got 301 marks. Where is 200 and where is 301? And why this person got only 245? And he is an excellent student. He is a hard worker. Finally, unable to get, you know, civil services. He entered into this SSC with a lot of subject, with a lot of hard work. And this is the management examination and you need to take the help of all the people, all the teachers, maybe your senior or maybe teacher. You may call with any name, teacher or friend or whatever it is. But you need to, the, the friend or teacher should help you in getting the short note question. It is as simple as that. If you still find the time, then that is your wish. Number of textbooks are there. I will give the list. But as a teacher, in this particular field, I will not. We are having, you know, public policy and anthropology course in Padmavati Mahila Vishwa Vidyalayam and also Andhra Loyola College in Vijayawada and also Tirupati. And for all the degree students in public policy and anthropology, I will list out all the, uh, you know, textbooks. And they have to read because they are from the anthropology background and they need to know. And here you are having only three months time, four months time, one year time. And how you will become master in all the subjects by reading the textbooks. It is not humanly possible, no? It is not humanly possible. So here, the teacher will save your time. That's it. Right? Thank you very much. And here we are having only uh, these limited seats, only 50 seats. So uh, 19th, we are commencing the batch. You can register if you want to.